You've done Broadway, you've done opera, um, classical music. Is there something you haven't done that you would like to do? Gosh, you know what, David? I'm, it's already so much richer than I ever could have imagined. If you told me that I would be in a musical on Broadway, I would have said, unlikely, unlikely. So uh, I, I don't think I have a wish list. What I do have is an open mind and a, and a, a belief in the future. absolutely believe that things come to us if we work, work hard and we're dedicated and we love what we're doing and we're passionate. When you're an opera singer, you can't yell at anybody or yell at anything because you could ruin your voice. Do you ever worry about that or you just <sighs> don't worry about that? I made that mistake once. Oh, one of my daughters was upstairs and I, sh I in a moment, I shouted at her and I felt it. I went, uh-oh, I had to cancel three performances at the Met in a production that was that was built for me. So that was really unfortunate. Okay. So like in my case, I'm not a good singer, as I mentioned. <laughs> I have, uh, I'm completely tone deaf, but you know, I can sing in the shower and uh, nobody objects. So can an opera singer sing in the shower? That's not possible. Oh, it's great to sing in the shower. It's a good place to warm up. You have all that moisture. You know, you're, you, in fact, you might become a better singer by singing in the really? shower. Maybe, maybe that, I mean, I should practice that more. Exactly. I'll, I'll think about that. The thing that you're most proud of having achieved in your life, other than, let's say, raising two very talented uh, young women, uh, your daughters, what would you say you're, you're, you've most achieved uh, that's given you most pride? Is it coming from very modest circumstances to becoming one of the most famous people in the world, in the opera world? Yes. Or what would you say it is? Well, I do share with you this extraordinary wonder at the, the, the realm of possibilities that we have as Americans because, um, some of my relatives were literally coal miners in Pennsylvania, and I have sat next to Prince Charles and next to the King of Sweden at dinner parties and at various performances, and I always stop and say, isn't this amazing? In, in literally in two generations that I'm, I have this, this ability to travel the world and experience every place I go um, at the most extraordinary level and the legacy that you would like people to um, think about you, let's say 20 years from now when you people look back. I think I really expanded the possibilities for the singers who came after me by singing in multiple genre, by singing jazz, by singing, making a rock album, now singing in music theater. Um, when I started, people discouraged that very heavily. They said, no, you're going to ruin your legacy. You will, um, you, you, you will ruin the, the way in which you're viewed critically. You must not step out of the box. In fact, the more specialized you are, the better. And I just thought, I, I, I'm too curious. I want to try new things. So I just ignored that advice.